Hi guys, Dinian Drake here from Eastern Suburbs On Demand. Um, today we're going to be going through a few goalkeeping videos that you can do at home. Uh, mostly by yourself if you've got a nice wall here or with a family member uh, at home. I hope everyone is staying, staying really safe and in their bubble and enjoying their time with their families. The first exercise that we're going to do just to get ourselves warmed up is we're just going to in, the, in your little area, running around with the ball and bouncing the ball, nice and simple like that. Making sure that your hands are in a good position and they're nice and soft. And if you've got a puppy or a little dog like Maxie, she might be able to come and help you out. But make sure that the dog doesn't get the ball. The next exercise we're going to do is if you've got a wall a family member at home that can help you out. And for starters, against the wall, you're gonna throw the ball against against the wall from your knees and catch. Making sure that your hands are in a good position and a little bit of your weight's going forward, your hands are out in front and they're nice and soft, making sure that your head and your hands are in line with the ball. Uh, for a progression, you can come to your feet and if you're confident enough to volley the ball against the wall or your family member can volley the ball in and around your face, that would be great. Otherwise, it's all good. Trying against the wall. Hopefully I don't try it over the fence. Important here that when you are throwing the ball and if the, against the wall and if the ball takes a variation or moves that we're not only just moving our hands, but we're moving our feet as well. So make sure that we're in line with the ball. The next practice that we're going to do is a scoop save. So again, back down on our knees, rolling the ball along the ground into the wall, or if your partner can pass the ball, and we're just going to do a scoop save. So ball along the ground, hands in front, and body coming over the top of the ball. Again, make sure our hands are in a good position where we can come forward and take the ball, and that our weight again is, is going forward. Uh, next one, again, we're going to come to our feet. Ball's going to be on the ground. And we're going to pass the ball and then react quickly to get down. So remember, you can do this with either a family member or someone at home or pass it against the wall. In this part of the practice, make sure that once you've passed the ball or the ball is coming towards you, that you're in a good set position, hands are low and body's in line with the ball as it comes. And we can easily adjust our position to get down to the ball. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's session. Feel free to add some of your own variations and techniques into your practice, anything different that you might want to add and feel that is going to add value. But 
Uh, until next time, I look forward to catching up with you guys again and bringing out some more good content for you guys. Thank you.